welcome back. Um, this is a bit unfortunate. We are having some issues with stability of Lee Chess this morning. I figured, hey, um, I've been doing some development on this site, trying to bring it back. Eventually I'll manage to get everything configured perfectly, but I did manage to successfully play one game on this this week. Um, so I figured, you know, let's try to get this site up and going. Um, Debo did assist me with trying to get uh, logins working on this site. Um, so please bear with me one second while I try to get this technical stuff going. Uh, how did I do this last time? Apparently, I've got the wrong DNS entry in my web page. Shouldn't. The way I've got this set up is kind of fragile at the moment, so please bear with me if there are issues, and there will be. As we just saw here, this attempted to log in uh, to a page at localhost 9090. That's a mistake on my end. I'll correct that. Um, I had not fully finished testing my changes uh, with this. Once I get the correct URL in there, this should log in using the Leechess server. Uh, what other things do I have out there that need to be touched? Okay, I've got some logging code I'd added to the server. Um, that should be fine. Uh, was it localhost colon 9090 or localhost colon 3000? Um, I think it said 9090. I've got three servers running on this server and one of them does not have the correct configuration. That's why I'm seeing um, well, you don't see it. My address bar says I'm logging into localhost 9090. Um, uh, so, give me a few minutes. I'll figure out where the thing I messed up is. Um, well, that's strange. Um, Do I just need to refresh my page? Is that it? Would a force refresh get me the correct URL? No. Um, log in with Lee Chess. Where did it that? Oh. Well, no. Um, somehow my web page has the wrong. How did I get the wrong information? Because my configuration should have loaded differently than it did load. Alright, let me try one thing. I'm going to stop the site and start my site. I should not have to do that, but maybe it'll fix things somehow. No, no such luck. Um, okay. Uh, what gives? There were three source files which had the word localhost in them. I replaced the word localhost in all three of these source files, and yet when I navigate to my page, which is at relaychess.moo.com, this is looking an awful lot like my dev server. There might be something in my host's file that's messing with this. Uh, notepad++, plus plus. please save me now. Um, sorry. Uh, where? Somewhere I had in my lo recent history uh, my Etsy host's file. Uh, I think it's at C Windows something, System32, uh, something Etsy login hosts. Where'd it go? 
Sorry, bear with me. Also, good morning, everyone. So, sorry for technical issues. Let's see, can I at least play a game against the AI? So you're not, like, watching me troubleshoot things? So here's Relay Chess, the board game. Uh, looks kind of familiar. There's one little difference here. Um, and that's that pieces don't necessarily move the way normal chess pieces would move. Like, I can move this like a queen. Um, I could move uh, my bishop here like a knight. Uh, because it's defended by a knight, this is defended by a queen. That sort of thing. So, truly, we're, we have unleashed the madness here. And the question is just, what's the ultimate end game with this game? Um, yeah, this is just like the most confusing. It's like the Calvin Ball of chess. So, again, this knight is protected by the queen, so it can move like a queen. Um, yeah, sorry that I'm kind of improvising here. I should be fixing my site as I did encounter an issue with it, but feel free to like play along at home. I'm trying to beat Stockfish that somehow knows this variant. Um, oh, hang on. Okay, now we defend the bishop. Okay, Stockfish wants to trade queens. I'm really not opposed to that, because that's going to help me much more than it's going to help the AI in terms of just figuring out what the heck is going on. Uh, note, if you want a castle, you have to actually drop the king on the rook. Um, and yeah, this bishop can move like a rook if I wanted to. I think I do want to. I want to get this bishop out of the back rank. Stockfish didn't know about the special castling rule, so... Um, that's why its king ended up on c8 instead of uh, a normal castling having occurred. I think that's just funny, so we're going to leave that bug in until all the other bugs are fixed, and then we'll go back and patch that. Um, so, I think if I just keep exchanging pieces, that maximizes my winning chances. Note I've got one bishop and one knight as opposed to my opponent who has uh, a bishop pair. So, I'm not sure... I mean, this gives me the greatest flexibility, but I'm not sure what the magnitude of this advantage I have is. I just know that my bishop, my opponent's bishops are stuck on dark squares and until, like, a rook defends one of those, uh, allowing it to move to a light square. So, whereas if I, I mean, I could do the same thing. It's just more difficult for my opponent to put their bishops on useful squares once I move all my targets onto light squares. All right, let's do this because it looks scary. <laughs> no, my bishop no longer protects my knight, so my knight can't... Uh, do I have code for this? Yes, the source code for Relay Chess is up and available on GitHub. It was originally maintained by an anonymous developer who wanted to collaborate with me. I said, cool, let's work on the code together. Um, it's written in Angular and Node.js, um, neither of which I'm familiar with, but I know enough to be dangerous uh, or useful with the language that is. Um, and so, yeah, that's how we ended up where we are. I ended up becoming the maintainer of this code base, and now I get to figure out when something goes wrong, what happened, and uh, how to fix it. So, um, for a number of months the site was offline because, um, it was relatively unpopular and the server costs were too high to be justified and I didn't want to pay for it and neither did um, the anonymous developer. Um, recently we found, I found, um, courtesy of some of the Leechess staff, I found, um, <laughs> oh, okay, it's not going to repeat. Um, 
I found that you could host the site at OVH uh, up in, well, headquartered in France. That's not where the site's actually uh, sited? Sitting? I don't know. It's not where the site's currently at at the moment. Oh, God. Did I do that? I'm lost. All right. Um, yeah, this is not good. So, and there's no resign button either. Uh, okay, let me get you the GitHub link because I guess maybe it's hard to find or something. Um, do I even have a command for this? Because if not, I should add one. Uh, that's not the one we're looking for. This is the one we're looking for. Although, um, GitHub uh, provides the link to the actual live site. Um, at some point I do intend, I have been struggling with OVH trying to log in and register some more domains. Uh, I spent an, about an hour trying to do that. I'll spend more time. I'll eventually succeed with it, but it's just a bit frustrating at the moment. But um, we'll get there. All right. Have I rescued my knight? Yes, at the cost of losing the game, the knight has been rescued. Worth it. Totally worth it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Okay. If you want a perpetual check, I'm more than cool with that. I don't have uh, threefold repetition rules built into the site just yet, so okay, fine. Man, this engine lacks imagination. Does it just really prefer White's position, or does it think something positive is going to come by this? I don't get it. All right, we're getting a new game. Forget that game. Let's do a new the new game here. This time with me playing an opening um, that's slightly better. All right. Oops, I forgot. So if you move the king two squares, that's not a castling move. Um, you have to drop the king on the rook because otherwise the king like inherits the movement abilities of the rook. So. Uh, this is a legal king move, but if you want a castle, you have to do this. I don't have an undo move button yet either. Um, I hadn't exactly intended to go live with this today, but circumstances being what they are uh, with Lee Chess at the moment, I figured, you know, that's kind of my duty. Um, so we're going to give this a shot and see how far we get with it. Um... Let's see. This bishop can move like a queen because it's defended by the queen. Um, so I guess that inspired this somehow. Um, mm -hmm. I can move this like a knight, so now I'm hitting this. Bear in mind, this bishop does move like a queen. So this is not so decisive. It just looks scary. All right, I'm going to ask us to exchange that knight for something. All right. Very well. I'm going to run. I'm going to continue running. Well, now this moves like a rook, but now this bishop moves like a rook. Okay, well, we've got a game on our hands. Um, Alright, so they've doubled their bishops. Um, okay, you got your check in. I hope you're happy. So, why don't I just play this, forking the rook and the bishop. Oh. This bishop defends the other bishop now, so this is no longer a decisive fork. It's just a fork. It's still pretty cool that I have that. Um, 
Let me throw this in first. This is a check. Oh, right, so this rook defended the king, so the king was able to jump all the way over here. That's what happened. So we have the king jump because it was powered by the rook. It was also powered by the other rook. Um, but the reason I gave this check is that I have my knight defending the bishop, so now my bishop has uh, the movement abilities of a knight. So maybe there's a tactic that favors me here. Protect your king with the knight. So you can never... Uh, actually, so like, if all these rooks moved out of the way, my king could jump like a rook, basically. I'm not getting mated here, because my opponent doesn't really have good enough mating material. Um, I'm actually looking at seeing, can I checkmate my opponent here? I'm being a bit greedy. So, um, I realize that my opponent has uh, a king that can still move like a rook. Um, but if you ignore that one little detail, this is looking pretty strong. This followed by, I don't know, putting the knight somewhere over here. Um, it's not quite good enough. Wait, wait a second. Why don't I take this? Bishop takes bishop. And then knight d8. I mean, I could do knight d6 if I wimp out, but knight d8 is the exciting move here. Um, check. This is check. Uh, king c7 is forced. Possibly there's a stockfish bug here. But yeah, what I'd foreseen is that king c7 occurs, and then I play knight to e6. And then I take the rook. Um... That was my master plan here. Um, so, yeah, really, king c7 is the only move. I check. Um, then the king jumps across, like, either to e7 or to f7, and I take the rook. And I'm um, slightly up on material. But my opponent has a bishop and a rook. I have a uh, just two rooks. So... I'm not sure how that would have ended. Evidently, there is a stockfish bug. Uh, nothing I can do to fix that Like while I'm demoing the site. Um, yeah, I had thought I had the site up and running. I played a game earlier this week. I was going to show off multiplayer mode if I were able to get an audience um, in light of what's going on with the Lee Chess server just having a slight hiccup this morning. Um, I thought it'd be best if I showed this site, um, which evidently I coded some kind of hiccup in too, so that's totally my fault, um, bit embarrassed about that. Didn't expect to immediately get hosted for like 10 people, so that was pretty cool that that happened. Uh, just means that um, it's just going to be some of me versus Stockfish, or if any of you want to play against Stockfish. It does run client-side, so you could also play against the computer on this site. I'll try to get the login up and running as soon as possible. There's something I messed up, and I just don't know what I did. But I also don't have the time to figure it out because oh, we've got an audience. Uh, so again, here, this is defended. Um, this, is, this variant was recently popularized by... Um, National Master John Chernoff of, uh, of Arcata, California, our famous pianist uh, who also plays chess. Uh, or I'm sorry, he is also a National Master of Chess, but he also plays online um, from time to time. And does quite spectacularly uh, when doing so, and is most enjoyable to watch. Uh, so he popularized this and was. I was trying to collaborate with him to make this happen on Lee Chess, and this is the closest thing we got at present, was just being able to um, play the game on a third-party site, even though I'm the one paying all the hosting costs and whatever. I don't care. It's a good, fun variant, and it's not too expensive to host a site at OVH. Um, oh, right. Here. This looks like a good square for a rook. 
Uh, now my opponent has this moving like a queen, this moving like a queen. This moves like a rook. Um, although this moving like a rook doesn't gain me too much. This moves like a knight. Um, but note, if I like move my queen here, even though this moves like a knight, that doesn't allow the queen's powers of movement to convey to the bishop. I have to have the queen directly in line with the bishop for the bishop to gain powers from the queen. So... Do I do bishop e3? That seems a lot saner than when I was just looking at a second ago. My opponent's threat is knight f5. Oh, but that doesn't hit the rook, because this no longer moves like a queen. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what my opponent's threatening. Well, this looks like a good development move regardless. Okay, g5 was the threat. It's a bit hard to see these threats in advance. Um, so if I take that, I lose a bishop. So we're going back. Alright, I think I can hold off this force. Just barely. Um, okay, why that move? That seems incredibly passive. What have I overlooked here? I like that this scares all of his pieces away from that line. I just wish there was something more effective I could do with the knight. Um... Yeah, we've get, achieved kind of a fortress position here. I want... I, pref, I think my king would feel safer on a1. But I don't really have a way to get there. Um, do I play f3? f3 looks ballsy. Um, but if I don't play it right away, I might never get a chance to play it. It's that kind of game where... You have to play things while they still work. Alright, so we're going to try this. I can't say I'm too optimistic about it, but not entirely pessimistic either. Um, so my big idea is try to get some more queen moving pieces in this vicinity. I do want to break with g4, but that looks scary. Um, maybe this would prefer, or prepare g4 a little bit better, but at the expense of allowing my opponent to defend it again. Um, uh, let's do this. Maybe a knight exchange will happen. Oh, crud. There goes my knight. Rip my knight. Alright, I tried. Alright, I'm taking your knight. I'm so tempted. Yeah, I'm taking the bishop. No, I don't want to. I changed my mind. I had a change of heart there. The bishop can live. Also, I thought that might happen, so it might not matter. Um, okay, so my opponent's trying to break through. But as long as I defended the base of my pawn chain, everything's okay. And then if I push past, um, then my weakness becomes my strength. So, uh, so now comes the question of how do you win an endgame in relay chess? It's not so easy. Um, this is the big target. Good gravy. I need my king out of here before something disastrous occurs. Okay, I can afford to take this this way. What I want to do is drop my rook in here. Um, there's one small challenge with that, however. But I think I can address that challenge. Okay, so I'm sorry. My opponent uses their king to defend the square, too. Uh, Chesswiz typically does stream today, yeah. Um, 
Also, typically, chess, uh, Lee Chess typically does not sur suffer server outages for more than a minute. Uh, today's an atypical day, so all bets are off. So that's kind of why I'm doing this, is just in case there is some technical issue, and maybe, I don't know, I should look. Has it been completely resolved? I don't know, probably. Okay, I'm hearing that it's been resolved. It was several issues that uh, were all simultaneously accumulating, each of which seems to be fixed at present. So it looks like everything's back to normal today. Um, I'll give it a minute or two, but I, I suspect that everything is back up and running at this point. Um, which is very good to hear. It means I can end the filibuster. Um, so, how do I try to win this? I'm still confused about that. I can plug my king up here. That seems like a safe thing to do. And as long as my queen never loses sight of the rook, this position can't ever be bad for me. Um, but winning this could be challenging. So, oh, my opponent intends to connect their queen and rook. Well, that's mean. I'm supposed to be the only player who can make threats like that. Okay, fine. Um, I guess I'll shuffle a little bit and see if what... Okay, my big plan is to try to line things up this way. Um... Which leaves me very exposed on c4. Let's be clear about that. There's a big hole in my position because I'm trying to win this. Um, I'm not content with the draw. And this could end in certain disaster um, if I just make the slightest mistake. So it's looking like that might happen here. Looking like I might have overpressed way too much. Um, on the bright side, we did avoid a draw. But yeah, this is not looking good. Okay, I counterattack. Oh god, that hurts. Um, Alright, I try to avoid getting checked. Oh, what? Okay, that's bold. So I have this check. Evidently, my level 1 opponent didn't think too much of it. Hmm. Not sure what to make of this. Um, so if I check there, my opponent could play king f7. Oh which could be very bad for me. So maybe I should not check. Or maybe I should wait for the queen to move before I give a check. So let's exchange a bit of material. Let's keep exchanging. I know this reduces the chances of me getting perpetual check, but I've got to believe that the engine's already figured out where all the perpetual checks lie and um, is deliberately avoiding them. Okay, so here King H, well, King H5 is not legal. Uh, so if I check King here, I check King G4, the King gets out. Um, that's not ideal. If I check, I check King F5, G6, maybe I have something. I doubt it, but I mean, the alternative is running this straight away. Um, I'm not sure about that either. This is tricky. How do you win this? I mean, I'm saying this like I can win it when really I'm about to be mated. But I think if I move my queen, um, 
then I'm certainly mated. If I leave my queen where it's at, maybe I don't lose. Alright, also my king can remove like a queen while it's stationed here. So I could jump all the way to b4 or a5 if I really wanted to. I think I do. So you see all these dots where I could move my king because it is protected. Um, I haven't picked one. I've got to pick a dot. I like this one. This protects a pawn. Doesn't leave my king too exposed. It seems to avoid the worst of the mating nets. And I don't see how I lose the e-pawn this way. At least not by force. Um, so if I push e7, queen takes pawn, queen takes f4. Oh. Queen takes g5, queen takes e4, king takes queen. That's kind of a problem, isn't it? Um, oh boy. This is not good. I have no way to save everything. I can try. It's not going to end well. Why don't we start with this check? and then get my king out of dodge and line up my king and my queen just in case there's something oh no but then they just trade queens but I don't have anything better here like if I check with my queen I give it away um, if I push e7 the pawn drops my pieces are disconnected here I have to do this it loses this is even a more convincing way to defeat my move than the move I came up with. Um, okay, how do I lose without too much shame? Um, there's no resign button, so I'm kind of condemned to shame anyway. Um, I guess I could put my queen on e1 and suffer in silence. Oh, I can't take that because the king defends it. But yeah, here we are. I stopped the promotion. Um, Alright. I guess I have to push all my... Oh, God. This is defended. Okay. This is not good. <laughs> this is less than ideal. Alright. Can I promote? Can I... Oh! Oh! Victory is mine. Heck if I know why, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm very confused. That is not a victory condition, by the way, but somehow um, I got credit for a win. I swear that wasn't me hacking. Oh, you think you broke my site. I know that the login with Lee Chess button is not working. I can't seem to figure out why not. You've played the level 2 AI and it got stuck. Uh, okay. Let me see if I can reproduce this. I know I've seen it get stuck before. It's not perfect. It, the AI was hacked together and I had very little to do with it other than fixing an infinite loop, or it got stuck even longer. Um, oh yeah, there is a Discord. Or, let's see. I mean, I could try this. Um, yeah, no, I've seen that. I don't know what the cause is. You're probably going to be having better fortune figuring out what is going on than I am. Because I took a look, and it wasn't obvious to me what the bug was. Um, the rook that's acting as a knight. Oh! Okay, that might have something to do with it. You can't see anything. Wait, what? My stream appears to be live. Um, okay. So, yeah, this is confusing stuff. Um, the knight also moves like a bishop. 
But okay, I'll take a look at that. You've probably figured out the root cause um, just in the way you've explained it there. All right, so too bad I can't like land my knight right here. Wouldn't that be great? Alas, this is not hope chess. This is uh, relay chess, so we are still bound by some kind of rules of peace movement um, other than hoping your opponent moves to the wrong square. Again, note there is a bug in the engine whiz going to try to play king g8. I still have to fix that. Um, so enjoy that bug while it's still there. Which might be a long time, because I have numerous other things I wanted to do with the site first to improve its quality of life issues before that one. That's like the lowest priority issue. I had, At some point we had players um, doing matches against each other, um, putting out seeks in the lobby and all that stuff was working great. Um, and then I went live with the stream and everything broke. They call it the streamer's curse, that when you try to do something just ever so slightly off script, that something is going to go wrong. Um, and that did happen. And I still haven't figured out what it exactly sourced the problem. Alright, how do I get this? Oh, lifting this will have the queen protect the knight. So now the knight can move like a queen. I'm not going to push h4 because that'd be dumb, but I can still put this somewhere useful, like here, I guess. Oh, this is scary. Oh, really? Okay. I can do deal with this. Okay, do I play queen takes or knight takes? What do you think? Yeah, I think it maybe just doesn't recognize the check. Um, I'll take a look at it, though. Oh, in fact, at least for my chat window, I can bring up that URL to see what happened here. I haven't yet got those AI games to play anywhere other than locally. So it was all coded in JavaScript, and so it doesn't relay the moves to the server, so I can't... Uh, but it could set up a board like this. Um, yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, it's, yeah, something didn't or failed to inform the king that it's in check. Um, yeah, do I want to fix my bishop? Oh, yeah, if I do queen takes, that kind of loses a bishop, doesn't it? Um, so I think probably knight takes is better. All right. Um, okay. I think this is fine. I want that knight. I really want the knight because knights are tricky pieces. The rest of these pieces are pretty easy to predict. Knights are kind of hard, just for people. So, yeah, we've got this uber piece that moves like a queen or a knight. Let's celebrate it while we've got it. Um, my opponent's not opening the A-file and is being a big meanie about it. <laughs> um, do pawns lose, like, lose value in the game? Um, I'm not sure. Pawns are much less powerful than pieces are, obviously, because pieces got beefed up quite a bit. Um, pawns, I don't think they've lost value, it's just that everything else gained in value. Um, okay, I kind of want to take the bishop. Again, just to try to make this easier for me to calculate what's going on. I know that makes the game a little bit less exciting for spectators, but um, at least we don't see me hang my entire army this way. Um, Alright, so I want my queen to defend all my other pieces, like this. Oh, sneaky little... okay, and that even protects this. 
can't get anything past stockfish these days. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, uh, this is not a queen for two rooks situation, because I only get one of the rooks. Um, so I retreat instead. Okay, and I take here. And I see you're threatening rook c1. Um, well, damn. I can't do like this capture because this check is just destruct uh, destroying me. So I'm gonna do the ambitious thing and bring my king over. Um, so now the threats are rook d2 and rook e1. Um, but I think I can dodge these. No. I think incorrectly. Um, AI level two is kind of strong kind of sees everything. Um, so I'd not recommend playing beyond level 2 because it's just that's the maximum depth at which it's searching and it's seeing like everything and more at this depth. So yeah I'm gonna run away. Didn't see that one did you? Oh yeah you did. Okay fine. You get my queen. I didn't need it anyway. I can't even protect my pawn. Fine, take it. Take all my pawns. See if I care. You can't checkmate me because my king moves too. F oh, whoops! I forgot to defend the rook. All right. So yeah, that's relay chess in a nutshell. Um, I've got to work on. Yeah. Okay. What do you have? That rook move was blasphemy. Yeah. Damn engine. Sees everything. Okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna play against the computer level one. One more game, and then I'm gonna work on the server side stuff to try to get that back up and stable and all that. Again, if you're interested in playing the AI while I try to fix the server things, or at least even try to figure out why I'm getting the wrong DNS, uh, the wrong host name. Uh, the command is relay, which gets us uh, the URL of the site. I still haven't figured out the opening theory to this game, although it's looking something like this, but I'm not sure. Um, note that my knight can't take this because uh, these are disconnected. So I have to do like rook takes or something. Um, not that that's bad, because... Oh. Oh, that's sneaky. Or, okay, I have to do pawn takes. Jeez. But hey, I got my pieces out. You still managed to fork me. What the heck? Even when I went out of my way to try to avoid this, you still found a way to do it. Nicely done, Stockfish. And now you're just going to go checkmate me or something. Not even going to take my rook. You didn't even want it. Or furthermore, you just see that, like, there's nothing I can do to save it, so you're going to taunt me first. The threat is, um, checkmate. Well, um, yeah, I don't know that I can do any better than ending the stream there, you know? <laughs> no, um... Wow, I can't even push the pawn to get out of this. That's pretty bad. So it saw that it could take the rook, but then decided that this move, winning a pawn and taking the rook, was better. Hmm. Uh, feel free to try your hand at this. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Um, yeah, we're going to end it there, because, like, how do you improve upon this? Like, this is a very instructive game. Yeah, it got me. Well, no, actually I have to run, but still. Um, oh god. Alright, come get me. I dare you. Alright. We're gonna find a way to try to win this. I'm not gonna let a little 
lost material discourage me. No, sir. We're gonna lose all our pieces one by one systematically. Um, and then uh, demonstrate the dominance of this AI. All right. You can't catch me. Maybe you can. I don't know. Okay, yeah, you win, Stockfish. Well played. Wouldn't even checkmate me. Just gonna be a sort. Okay, well, it's AI level one. It's got no manners. Maybe the higher levels do have some manners. That's pretty funny, though. Uh, yeah, so feel free to check it out. Currently hosted at relaychess.moo.com until I figure out what to do about the domain. Um, but yeah, that's been fun. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you back on Lee Chess. Have a good day.